Hi guys, welcome back to Riz Distractions. And today I'm making a video of a very unpopular watch in the watch community, I would say. But I mean, in Singapore right now, there's so many, so many people wearing this Daniel Wellington watch. That's, I mean, there's so many versions now, as you can see. Um, there's quite a lot of people wearing the black dial one as well, but. The I, I bought this watch I believe four to five years back. Um, so as you can see, this watch is just very simple. There's no date. Everything is very symmetrical. So you can see it, it, it's just a very simple watch. It's not thick at all. Look, you is a flat glass. You you don't have to worry anything about your sleeves getting under anything so I remember the time uh, I bought it I, I'm, I'm not sure whether it's the Oxford one or the Cambridge as you can see on the screen here and here or I get I, I, I have no idea I, it's been a while so because uh, of the straps I have as you can see this is the what they call the Cambridge one on the website here this then I have the Oxford and I also have another strap which I don't see here uh, they call it a Warwick but um, this is slightly different with the white two more white lines Okay, so basically why I get this watch is because it's so... Um, if, you, if you ask me whether I'll get this watch now, I will tell you don't. Because I, I've been looking into watches for a while. I uh, learned that Seiko and... How to say it? Well, Seiko and Orient, I mean the same price range as you can see from here, it's 269 I can get a Orion Bambino, I can get a Seiko Diver, I can get a Seiko 5 which is automatic movement But you can compare right because it's a quartz movement and I have never changed battery Ever since I got this watch. I, I don't Yeah, I don't think so. I, 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 I don't think so that I ever changed battery on this piece So I, I believe this is the watch that when it came out in Singapore, there was a hype. Everybody's wearing. Everybody's having natos on their wrists. So, this uh, what really caught my attention is because it's. I mean, there's a hype. So, I joined in the hype, and because it's a very nice watch, as you can see. I mean, if you remove the, it, it, let's say now, if you remove the Dell and Wellington, you put in an automatic movement, it will still look good, because of how thin it is, how slick it looks and how simple and classic this design is. There's no uh, open heart, there's no skeleton, there's nothing. It's just very clean white down with a... I got this uh, rose gold. Or is it a gold? Maybe it become a rose gold. <laughs> yeah, but <clears throat> all in all, it's a simple watch. Uh, I, I wouldn't say I hate it because it's yeah I mean it's a very classic watch because now I'm wearing I'm spending more time with this Steinhardt I tell you once after you get an automatic watch it's a commitment you have to wear this and I, I have no idea how other people man can manage I mean they buying watch winder and stuff but that's all additional cost but I don't have a watch winder so I only have a simple watch box so if I if I put my some of my watches on rotation I it's just different so as you can see these two watch you can see that the Steinhardt is beating away properly it's very nice it's, it is really very nice to see uh, the second hands actually taken away but this this has no second hand that's why it's it's even more interesting, it's more simple, it's, it's just no nonsense. Another Kickstarter program that I actually 
looked into was actually the Filippo Rioletti. This is a very interesting piece, but it's also something that I buy because I wanted to support them or this uh, marketing <laughs> bullshit, I would say. But I mean, they are using a, this is a quartz version. Even for the automatic one, I think it's a simple, I think Chinese or Miyota movement. But Miyota is okay, but uh, I'm not very sure. I, I remember it to be some simple Chinese movement. So as you can see the difference. Just look at the second hands. I mean, definitely when you see it turning, beating away, it's nicer than it's like, tick, like bit by bit per second. Okay, get, getting back to the watch. So, yeah, I actually really like this watch as you can see. Uh, case thickness is only 6mm. I, I, I think Piaget has a new watch that is only coin thickness. That's really, really insane. And it's an automatic movement. So, that is crazy. And usually I wear... Daniel Wellington has leather strap. I have never get leather strap on this. I, I think Daniel Wellington when it first um, do its marketing, it's all on NATO. So that that's the one that caught my attention because NATOs are so so comfortable. It's so it's different from having leather strap. You don't need to worry about water. I mean, though this the water resistance is only thirty. Yeah. So, but nevertheless, I still don't need to worry about water because I'm wearing a NATO so it sits really comfortable on my 6.25 inch wrist you can see really simple comfortable design okay sorry for this see it sits really well really comfortable and because it's not thick you don't you you won't really you, you can't you, you don't really feel it there. I mean it's there but it's, it's so it's so comfortable on the NATO. I think every I think all watches will just come with a free NATO next time. Okay. I have a several few uh, NATOs to go with. But and my favorite one it's definitely this. But I don't wear this often because it's I think it's a bit bright. I, I, I really like this. It's a simple one. Oops. See, when I drop it, I don't even bother. <laughs> I mean, it's a $200 watch, yes, but I mean, it's different. Just feel different. So I really, I really like, I really like this color. This is really, really nice. Just goes well with the gold buckle. All round simple oh and i actually have the box for you to take a look man I, I have no idea what it looks like now i i i hope they have changed their packaging i hope it became better but this is the one that i i got as you can see it's all worn out it's been four to five years i i have never touched this I keep my watches in my watch box so not really into this. Everything is worn out. I have never actually go and use the same paper to scrape this or what but I mean over the years it got some funny damage. As you can see I have this pin. Yeah this is for you to remove the pin like you go through the hole over here. Just give it a small gentle push, put it back. Okay, hold on. Oops. Ah, uh, my butter fingers. Alright, back in. So, so yeah, this is the looks. The pin, then. Oh, actually, wow, I, I didn't know that I still have the tech. So actually it came with it came with an original tag and this is supposed to hook on to I think one of the NATOs. Okay. Then I think I, I'm not sure if I have a warranty card still. I, I I have no idea. So oh yeah, this is uh the Daniel Wellington manual. 
Yes, and even the sticker is, even the glue is coming off. Okay. Also, I got this from Light Singapore. I think the previous time when I went to check the website, it's, it's dead. <laughs> it's gone. Oh, I actually got this watch on 5th November. I didn't even remember it. Okay, so it's about 5 years after I have this watch, so... Some marketing over here. It's really nice to see as you can take a look. Can you imagine like the marketing they do? You see, you, you just got this watch, then you, you have this impression that you look like this. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a Dana Wellington manual talking about who is Dana Wellington, the collection, the NATO strap, the small history. And they, they did mention the James Bond movies, which I have the strap over here. Yay! Then simple adjustment of your watch, two years warranty, which I didn't even use. Thankfully, I mean thank God that it didn't. I don't even need a battery change. I don't. I don't even know how long it's gonna last, but I don't remember changing it, so it's good. Water resistant is thirty meters. Oh yeah, and my watch is forty millimeters as well. Okay, that's yeah, just a very simple manual. So this is what I got when I purchased this watch uh, in 2014, no, November 2014, four years back. So it just every, everything is just there. I don't touch the watch. I don't touch this anymore. Just back into my shelf. So yeah, actually I want to show you the difference between the normal NATO strap and actually the Tenen Wellington one. So you can see. This is the Daniel Wellington branded watch strap. You can see on the buckle over here. Alright, as well as this small pin. Uh, this is the aftermarket. I got this like freaking cheap, like 4 SGD. So uh, everything is flimsy and all, but it works. It still works. So the difference is actually this. You can see here has two buckle and just one flap over here. So actually for Daniel Wellington watch, you with their NATO that they provide, you only can do it. Not there's not a lot of ways that you do it. So normally it's just like this. You put through both straps, one for one through the pins and one outside, then you just wear it over. But for the other NATO strap. <coughs> This is actually a 22mm one that I put through with my sign heart But now I'm just gonna show you It's gonna... it's gonna fit Yeah, I just squeeze it a little, it's gonna fit So... It's gonna look a little bit weird Actually it looks fine It, don't, it looks fine, so... The normal one usually we wear it this way Let's go in. My wrist is uh, 6.25, so it's actually pretty small. Just look at this. Uh, never ever buy a cheap NATO. That's what I learned. Bad lesson. Spending, but though I didn't spend a lot, I spent only 4 SGD on it. So, this is how you look at it. This is one way to wear the NATO. And another way which uh, I really like is to just open open this up. So you get this, so you only have one layer under. It will make it even slimmer. So you just go wear your watch. You go through the first buckle first. Give me a second. Actually, why it's so tight uh, is because I actually purposely went to squeeze the watch. I went to squeeze the metal so that it's more tight. Because it, when it when it first came, it was so flimsy. It was like, you see, I actually went to compress it. The first time it came, it was so loose. It was like it feels like it's gonna drop. If I I don't feel comfortable wearing this. So another way is to go through here. Then then after that, you bring the buckle in.
Okay. Okay, let's get it tight. They just go through both sides. And that's about it. But this one, uh, I mean, it's two, it's two ways that I usually wear my NATO. But this one is the one that you will build up a bulk on the top, as you can see. But what I really like is it's, it's so flat. Yeah, the, the, the watch is literally on your wrist. 40, 40 millimeters is alright. If it's grey, it's not too big or too small. As you can see. Alright. Yep, that's about it. Um, if you have any questions, or you can leave a comment. You can so, hope, uh, I hope you guys will subscribe to this channel because it really helps me a lot it motivates me to give you up uh, give up more give you guys more content thank you very much for looking through this video and see you next time thank you